Hello everyone, I'm Communist Gamer or Nikolai, and this is Ask Nikolai number 47. The weekly series where my Instagram followers and subscribers send me questions and I do my best to go ahead and answer them. The gameplay watching is from Titanfall Attrition on the map Outpost 207. I can't believe it's March already. I started Ask Nikolai last March. Anyway, lots of questions this week, so let's get into them. First question comes from Whoa Dragon 28 In communism, will there be video games? I don't see why not. I can see manufacturing of games in a communist society. Next question comes from Banana Man 27 What do you think of anarcho-fascism? It makes no sense. Anarchy means absence of government, and fascism is extremely authoritarian, so I don't see how it would work. Next question comes from Utopian Communist, Revision or Revolution, MLK or Malcolm X. If con is the opposite of pro, what is the opposite of progress? I'd say revision, but if that doesn't work, there's nothing left to do but fight back. MLK or Malcolm X? Well, they're both great, so you can't really pick. The opposite of, po of progress would be Congress. Next question comes from It's My Dinaness. Top 3 favorite YouTubers? Well, obviously me. Recently I started watching Dan and Phil, and they're pretty great. The band A Day to Remember does some great skits and webisodes on their channel. Some groups like of like the crew, like KORSBD, K Sign Ups for Reason, and lots of others are pretty great too. Next question comes from The Worst of Life. Are you a feminist? I'd consider myself a feminist because I believe in equality. I hate the ignorant people who think feminism means female supremacy. It just means equality for all genders and sexes. When people say we don't need feminism anymore because we have equality, it's like saying I'm not a socialist anymore because we have a socialist country. For example, if we achieve total equality, it doesn't mean we stop believing in equality. Next question comes from the worst of life again. How would you describe communism to someone who knew nothing about politics? Absolute communism can be described as total equality with no government or anything. This being too utopian and pretty much impossible makes room for socialist interpretations like Leninism or Trotskyism. Socialism incorporates a variety of leftist ideologies, which include communism. Next question comes from Soviet Union Stan Marsh. Do you like North Korea? Definitely not. They call themselves communists, but they're pretty much the opposite. A country built on oppression, North Korea has no free speech, closed borders, worshipping a dictator, and mass censorship. An overall bad place. Next question comes from Soviet Union Stan Marsh again. Who would win with no nukes? USA or the USSR? This would be. This is a really difficult question because both countries have had, had and have huge militaries. Either way, it would end in way too many deaths and destruction. Next question comes from Atheist Socialist Pig. How can someone be homophobic and communist? This question refers to the post I made the other day with the rainbow Soviet flag. I don't know if you noticed the caption, but the word communist was in quotation, meaning the homophobic people can't be communists. How can someone who believes in equality oppress and marginalize a certain group of people? It makes no sense. Same goes for transgender people. That's it for questions this week. If you want to send your questions on Fridays, I'll post a picture on my Instagram that says Ask Nikolai. Comment your questions there and I'll answer them in another video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.